its entire process of docking is concerned. Now, ISRO postponed the ambitious Paydex mission for the second time on Wednesday on January 18th, citing the issue arising from the axis adrift between the satellites. The first attempt for the docking mission was originally scheduled for January 7th and was then rescheduled on January 9th. The mission called Space Docking Experiment would make India the fourth country in the world to achieve a feat essentially for expanding the future deep space exploratory missions. The SpaceX mission launched on December 30th aims to demonstrate in space docking using the small spacecraft. Suresh Nayak is joining me live on the broadcast viewers who is the ex-group director at the ISRO. Thank you sir for speaking to us and in fact giving us your time at this point of time. The mission of SpaceX is going to make India the fourth country in the world to achieve a feat for the essential expand, expanding of the future deep space missions. How do you react to this very development while this comes after two attempts which have been not so successful this is much anticipated to have been in fact yielding in the positive direction already uh, the earlier speaker has explained uh, the background and the procedure uh, in detail so now i would uh, say that these two postponements are uh, uh, actually required to be made, was required to be made because uh, after spending so much of money, uh, about 125 crores plus 250 crores, and after so many, 10 years the work is going on, we don't, uh, as far as possible, want to take any risk at the last moment. And we are at the last moment now. And uh, uh, whatever uh, time is required to achieve the success, uh, we have to give it because uh, finally the success of the mission is uh, Im most important. Now, let me add uh, a few points. Uh, the first thing is now uh, the, uh, the what you call chaser has uh, come in the vicinity of the target. And uh, now the speed or velocity of the chaser uh, to move further for docking is extremely important. It has to be low velocity to avoid a uh, combat um, you know, with the target which will damage the whole mission. So now the velocity will be kept to about uh, 10 millimeter per second and then slowly it will uh, dock with uh, these two will dock. Uh, I will also like to add that uh, the primary objectives were mentioned earlier as for this is for space station. Then uh, another thing is Chandrayaan-4, that is sample return uh, mission. Uh, in addition to that, I would like to also add that this will be also useful for Indian on the moon mission. You know, that way it is extremely crucial for the ISRO's next ambitious plans. And that is why a lot of care has been being taken uh, to see that we uh, achieve success uh, to the extent possible. Everything is being put, all the intelligence of the ISRO scientists and efforts are being applied for making this mission a success. And uh, you know, the whole country should uh, give a salute to ISRO for that. And now I want to add another thing. The primary objectives were already mentioned. Now there are some secondary important objectives also. After these uh, two the satellites are coupled together, uh, you know, we are going to uh, do the power transfer experiment between the two satellites. This is the first time, of course, which we'll be doing because no docking mission was taken earlier. And what does it mean by a transfer of power? It means that uh, power from chaser <coughs> to power from uh, target and vice versa uh, is made possible by means of connectors on the interface side of both uh, spacecraft. And, uh, you know, what happens is, sometimes it so happens, both the satellites have got solar panels on them to give the electricity, but one of them may get a little excess uh, 
power, another one may be in deficit of power. So in that case, uh, the power management uh, system on the uh, satellite uh, will automatically adjust the power distribution. This is a very important experiment which will be performed on this experience. Then in addition to that, you know why the ISRO's uh, missions are always low cost is because we also combined on that a robotic arm deployment and redeployment. In the sense, uh, there is a robot, a robotic arm, uh, which we already tried, ISRO already tried, uh, to, to see that it, uh, you know, opens up and it again closes. So this also will be useful uh, in Chandrayaan-4 mission for picking up the uh, samples of uh, soil and uh, rock pieces from moon. So you see, now so many objectives uh, are combined in one mission. And that is why uh, this uh, particular thing is a low-cost mission. Another thing which I would like to add is uh, this particular mission is uh, interesting in a way that uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, all future multiple launch uh, missions with a common objective. For example, I already gave a sample return motion. There will be two launches and common objective of getting the samples back. Then space station, building and operation of the space station. So multiple launches are required. Like, so like that, Ch Chandrayaan, uh, uh, Indian on the moon also will require multiple launches. So wherever multiple launches are required, this uh, docking is an essential technology which ISRO should adopt. So you can understand now that how important it is to a basic step, basic technology required to uh, fulfill our future uh, missions uh, with success. Thank you. All right. Mr. Naik, thank you for in fact uh, giving us your time and putting this in perspective as precisely as you have in fact done. Now also Vian Jha, my uh, guest, another guest is joining me 